Even though Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, has been ramping up arrests and deportations, houses of worship are one of the few places they still won't raid. Religious leaders of different faiths have banded together to treat our immigration laws like a joke. And I don't believe in jokes. So I sat down with a Jew, a Christian, and a Muslim. And boy, are my arms tired. The New Sanctuary Movement is a collection of churches providing hospitality who are welcoming those who are threatened with deportation or detention or some other form of removal from the country. Christians, right? Always a race to be the martyr. <laughs> there are 40 organizations like this across the country saying that what's happening, what our government is doing, we believe is illogical, immoral, and un-American. You three disagree on so much, like which gods are gods. Why do you agree on this? It is an obligation. Even if you have only small amount of food, you have to share. Yeah. Even Jesus himself was escaping torture and all of this, and he seeking refuge. Muslim talking and about so Jesus, and uh, Christian agreeing Absolutely. with it. I don't like this. I think we all feel as part of what we call the Abrahamic tradition that welcoming strangers is one of the most powerful things. And that exists at the core of our tradition as it does at the core of the Jewish tradition and as it does at the core of the Absolutely. Islamic faith as well. Sure, Jesus welcomed lepers and prostitutes, but I don't remember anything about him hanging out with Pakistanis. <laughs> Checkmate.